road. For tonight, the weather will be mainly dry, but showers will persist in western coastal areas. <laughs> now, because of an earlier accident, there are still serious delays on the M1 in South Yorkshire. The trouble spot is at Junction 30, which is Sorry, mm -hmm. services. That's uh, with a contraflow system. You're right, love. The cereal's gone dry. Need a bit more milk. It's not a very pleasant uh, cereal without milk, is it? And eating cereal should be a pleasant experience. Why do I do it? You know. Oof, no. No milk. Mary! You haven't got... Mary! I haven't got any milk left, love. God damn it. She's doing up the zip on her kit bag. Blocking me out, you know. Have to wait tomorrow. Mary, would you not be happy with me getting me work, mate? And Clamping those in the vice because you, there's lots of strain on your wrist. It's a heavy shoe. No, it? I wouldn't. No. Right. Yeah. Hey. See, Mary's got a purple top on today, haven't you, love? Mm. Um, yesterday, Mary was wearing a white top, weren't you, love? Mm. And it's got like a design on the front that uh, reminds me of a design of a toaster. You know, at one time you could only get that type of design on a toaster. How's your stomach ache today, John? It's not so bad, thanks, John. Much better. Yeah. I'm off, love. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, careful, it's cracked me on the ear. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye, love. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, once again, I'm very sorry about last night. Huh? You know, when I put my curry tray directly into your microwave, causing sparks to fly. Yes. Well, think on, Ken. Don't do it again. No. All right. Oh, Ken. it's treacle. Oh. Come oh. on, <laughs> treacle. Ken. Come on. Come to Kenny. Ken, Ken, don't entice that cat across the door. No, it's all right, Mary. Come on, treacle. Come on. Come on, treacle. Come on. The car coming. Oh, oh yeah. Treacle, go back. Go back. Go back, Treacle. You've endangered that poor cat's life. Oh, oh, no, he's all right. Oh, Mary, you do that. He snarled at me. Oh. All right then, Ken. Well, I might see you later. Okay. See you later. Good morning, Ken. Ken Worthington, next door neighbour and sole agent. Must say at this point, Ken, I heard you make contact on our patio door with your ring. You know, and it's a black emerald. You're very naughty to do that. Just use a clenched forefinger in the future, just like that. You know, that's all you need. Anyway, Ken, what can I do for you? Well, John, uh, I need some milk, please. I see. Well, you've come to the right place, Ken, because... What am I saying? No! Mary's let our milk supplies dwindle till they're dangerously low. Oh! Oh dear! Yeah, um, I mean, got a little bit left, but I'm saving that, Ken, for um, a cup of hot chocolate, which I might have about midday. I might have it about um, 1.15, 1.30, something. No, I might have it a bit later, then. Look! To, yeah. Will you just shut up, John, and give us some milk? <sighs> Ken, I must ask you to keep your voice down, please, because you're in a residential area. You know, your voice is going to be ricocheting off the modern brick word. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, you're right. I'm sorry, John. Apology accepted, Ken. With great thanks. Now, what's the problem with your milk? 
Well, what's happened, John, with the recent hot weather? Is it my milk has gone mildewy? Oof, yeah, I must stop you right there, Cam, because you don't mean mildewy. You mean rancid, don't you? No, no, I mean mildewy, John. <sighs> no, Cam, you don't mean mildewy. Um, your wicker chairs, they go mildewy. No, they don't. They don't, actually. Well, you know, they do, Cam, and milk does not go mildewy, it goes rancid. And if you could see a milk marketing board video, you know, then you'd know what I mean. Wouldn't you, viewers? You know, oh, hey, there we go, you see? It then goes to the pasteurisation plant, where it's filtered as an additional precaution. After heating to 161 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds, the milk is rapidly cooled and is ready for bottling. I need to use your toilet, John. Would that be possible? Please. Seems a bit strange. Your own facilities are so close at hand. But, yeah, come on in, Ken. Thanks, John. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Oof. Oof, no, it's not even enough for me hot chocolate, viewers. Dangerously, though. Sorry, Ken. Can't help you out. Do you have some orange juice? No, John, it needs to be milk. I'm making a souffle for Joyce. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joyce is a widow who Ken has befriended. And, uh, Enjoy social for Kate. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, just nick me crinkle crunch. Ken! Very long time, isn't it, Ken? Let me see what you're going up to. Just leave me orange juice there. Oof. Well, let's bring. No, I'll leave it there. I'm going to take it with me. But let's go. Ken! What the hell do you think you're doing? Get down off those stairs. Well, right, it's South American hardwood, but, uh, you know... <laughs> Get... Oh! Um... <laughs> you are right, Ken? Yes, yes, I'm fine, thanks, John. You shouldn't be in this part of the house, Ken, as a non-family member. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, John. Yeah, you will be, Ken. Ooh! Yeah. Anyway, what possessed you to swing from the stairs, Ken? Well, it's just... The carpet, John, it's lovely and fluffy. It is. And um, I've got nervous eczema on my palm, and it right. soothes it, you know. Yeah. Mm. Oh, fair enough, Ken. Oh! 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 Oh, my Cuban eel! Oh! oh. Yeah. Ken's oh. Cuban eels come off, haven't oh, they? John. Reducing his stature even further. Oh! Ken! Oh! Once I'd bathed Ken's head wound in liniment, it was time to play my latest composition. Because I'm a versatile singer-songwriter, viewers. Don't forget that. Right. Hit me with it, Jack. And Ken's my sole agent, of course. Mary, you... Uh, sir. You're all right. Take your time, John. Take your time. Okay. That's it. Mary, I am missing you, missing you, missing you. Wishing to be kissing you, but unfortunately I can't. Mary, I am missing you, missing you, missing you. Wishing to be kissing you, but you're visiting a poorly aunt. Is that a bit spittle? A poorly what? Poorly aunt. Visits a poorly aunt. Mm. What do you think, Ken? It's rubbish, that Jack. Is it? Mm. Well, it doesn't grab me. <sighs> well, Ken, if you don't mind me saying you're a little bit hasty in uh, coming to a decision because you've not really had time to digest the lyric, have you? Is it not a catchy melody? Oh, yes, it's catchy enough. And the rhythm? Does it not recall Jonah Lowe? Stop the cavalry. Come on, Ken. Oh, morning. My zip's caught, John. What are you doing, Ken? Sorry about this, viewers. John, I've been thinking about your song. What, Ken? But to make a nice fun track for Britney Spears. Oh, yes, or Whitney Houston. Hiya, Tony. Hiya, Tony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Britney or Whitney. Mm -hmm. Or Jean Pitney. Oh. Very funny, Ken. Mm. It's a bit boring round here, isn't it, John? I wouldn't say that, Ken. On a hot afternoon in early June 
You might think nothing's baking But the empty road and the smell of tar Suggests you're not mistaken The babies sleep, the kids are at school The parents are out working Silence fills the neighbourhood Suburbia's been forsaken But stay a while and you will hear a car rug being shaken and from a shed a lawnmower being ceremoniously taken. The tick of a parked car's bonnet as it cools down and contracts suggests the owner's just delighted. When, you wonder, will they be back? Kamikaze bumblebee, the size of an old fashioned penny. Bomb dives to drive before careering round a semi. A man in a suit appears on a porch, clicking a ballpoint pen. A blackbird goes ballistic and then calms down again. The smell of wood preservative drifts from a distant garden. The sun slides behind the cloud. The tar begins to harden. On a hot afternoon, Early June. You might think nothing's cooking. If that's the case, I have to say that maybe you're not lucky. Ken never made it to the shops to buy milk. Instead, he slipped into a wine bar for an early Malibu. I returned alone and put my newly purchased milk to immediate good use. Here's your coffee, love. I'll put it down for us, John, thanks. Oh, uh, did you want a biscuit with no, it, love? No, no, no. No. Ah, I thought Ken would have been back. Instead, Mr Woodcock is in uh, deep conversation with Mr Marshall. Yeah? He's uh, got his leg up, Mr Woodcock, in a cavalier fashion. Looks like somebody in our chaparral, Mary. You know, yeah, considering buying a stallion <laughs> or something. But he's not. Oh, Mr. Marshall's uh, got his dog. Is it Monday? Mm. Mary? Mm. Yeah, Monday. Oh, Mr. Woodcock's off. We're not at a ram, uh, I don't think. Uh, no, I suspect Mr. Woodcock's remembered he's got to go pick up his daughter, Gwyneth, from uh, Chester University. Because she's at campus. Sorry, viewers. You're all right. Shut up, Satan. Ken, where are you? Ah, there you are, Ken. Been looking for you. You're trespassing, John. Well, you know, no more than you were, Ken, um, earlier in the day when uh, you came to my property and ventured into an area of the house not designated for non-family members. Yeah, well, you know why I did that, John? Because the itchiness on my palm. Well, I've thought about that, Ken, and your excuse to not hold water, does it, viewers? Because, you know, my nylon carpet uh, would have exacerbated your eczema, Ken, not soothed it. Anyway, Ken, uh, I've come round to see if there's been any progress with my song. Who's to sing it? Is it to be Brittany or Whitney? Or indeed, uh, my favourite choice, uh, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. None of those artists, John. Instead, I've decided that um, Gilbert O'Sullivan should be the chosen artist. Ooh. I've approached Gilbert and he's very excited about the prospect yeah. of recording your song with oh. you to it becoming chart-bound. Oh, this is fantastic news, Ken. Interviews, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, it's happening, John. In fact, I'm expecting a call from Gilbert any second. <sighs> Don't believe it. Yeah. Hello! Yeah, Gilly, how you doing? 
Yes, lovely. Right, I'll set up the session right away. It's good agent. The bass player of the Doolies. Yes, I'll see if he's available. Bass player of the Doolies. On, on site catering facilities. Of course. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Oh. One moment. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Shut up. Hang on, Ken. Your phone's not connected. What the hell's going on, Ken? That was a nasty trick to play. You nutter. Eh? What do you think you're doing, Sorry, you Eh? Just that uh, I've had no phone calls in the last couple of days. I've become very anxious and paranoid. You know, constantly listening out for the phone. So now I'm using my nephew Nathan's toy mobile. It feels safer somehow. And it stops me getting lonely, you know. One moment, please. Oh, no, don't keep me waiting, little lady. You're crazy, Kev. You know, I bet you're not even made that souffle for Joyce. No, well, I haven't even got any bloody milk, have I, John? So how can I? Well, what about that milk there, behind you? That, that's the mildewy one, John. Uh, I think you mean rancid, Ken. No, I mean bloody mildewy. Look, judge for yourself, John. All right, then, I will. Large container for a small man. Oh. What do you agree, viewers? The milk was warm, but in my view, palatable. Yet clearly Ken was in no mood to make a souffle. Instead, I was invited to his bathroom to view a strange phenomenon. Watch out! A horse! It is Ken, it's a horse! Mm -hmm. Watch, John. Ken! <laughs> it's galloping! Mm. It is, it's, uh, it's moving along at quite a pace. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh yeah, that's incredible, it must have taken a long time. No, I just put my t-shirt in the bath and it formed the shape of a horse. Really? Mm. Very clever. This gives me inspiration to write a country and western song. Oh, country and western? With perhaps Mr Woodcock, starring um, in the video. Oh, I'd like to hear it, Jim. Make the horse gallop again, Ken, because it's lovely. Perhaps I can assist you. Oh, what's happened to his legs? Oh. John, he's dying. It is, Ken. We better put it down. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. We need to get it away. Mary, how do you spell souffle? Hey? Oh, sorry, I love, I found it. See, viewers. Oh, souffle. Oh. Of course, you'll have had time now, viewers, to clock that Mary's here. Is a little bit like a motorcycle helmet. You know, the shape of the hairdo. I know, I don't mean a modern one, but the visor. You know, because that would imply a floppy fringe, wouldn't it? Oh, that went down very badly. Oh! Very badly. Karen Love, can you give us a shower and that's landing on Thank you. Hang on! It says here you only need a uh, quarter of a pint of milk for a souffle. Yeah. Did you know this? Yeah, it just egg whites and egg yolks separated, didn't it? <laughs> And the milk can be warm. Oh, this means Ken's milk would be eminently suitable because he left it on the side, didn't he? Hey, oh, this is fantastic news. Uh, see you later, love. Right, love. Yeah. 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 You can use this milk for a souffle because you only need half a pint and it should be warm. Oh, John! No, no, forget it, John. Uh, I'm going to Joyce's. Oh, why, Ken? Well, after you left, I reconnected my phone and Joyce rang to say she's missed a bus. Mm. So, you know, I've got to go to hers for dinner. Well, that's fine, Ken. Uh, you take the milk, Joyce can provide the other ingredients for the souffle. Hey, that's a bit like that uh, nursery rhyme, isn't it? Boys and girls come out to play. Uh, you bring sugar, I'll bring flour, we'll have pudding in half an hour. <laughs> you know what I mean, Ken? There's a link there, isn't there? Hmm, yeah. It's a very tenuous link, John. Hmm. Maybe so. Uh, but ideally, you'd be dressed up as a Victorian schoolboy now uh, if you were doing a video. Just to mean, viewers. I mean, obviously, you're not making a video of this because it's real life. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Right, I'd best be going, John. Right, all right, Ken, have a nice time. Uh, hang on, Ken. Stay right there. Your foot pump is loose on the back there, Ken. I can't let you go anywhere. Stay right there. Oh! I can't believe it. What fat chump left a foot pump 
where it could strike me dead. It should be lashed securely with rope or sturdy thread. If we come to a junction and the lights suddenly go red, this on pit will jump and land upon my head. I hate to be boring, but that foot pump needs securing, or alternatively storing on the shelf of your garden shed. Mary's right, Ken. You're right, Mary. Think on, Ken. I'm, I'm off to step class now. Oh. Bye-bye. Bye, right, bye, bye. bye, Mary. What you're offering is a coffin. I've been cruelly misled. And so then I propose, Ken, we take my car instead. Oh, we can't, Ken, because uh, my Austin Ambassador Wire Edge is in the garage. Uh, oh. I mean, it's clutch cable renewed. Uh, tell you what, I'll come with you, Ken, and put the uh, foot pump on my knee. Yeah? Perhaps wrap it up in a tea towel or something. Slow down, Ken. You're agitating the mill, increasing its rancidity. It's mildewosity, you mean? Hmm? Ken, milk does not go mildew. It does. It doesn't. Oh. Not doing that again, viewers. Oh, it's chafed me across my chest. Oh, what's that, Ken? I don't know. Oh, it's a note, isn't it? Oh. It's for Ken. It's from Joyce, John. She's gone to the village store to buy me some Malibu. Mm. Hey? Very nice. I'm in for a good night, eh? <laughs> oh. Joyce, it's Kenny. Oof. Can you get me some mm. slim panatellas, Doug? Mm. And uh, some Ferro Roche. Yeah. Loads of moss, isn't there? Oh, you can get me some of those as well if you want. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Joyce, what's happened to your voice? What? John, look at me milk. It's covered in mildew. You see, milk does go mildewy. I was right all along. Yeah, very funny, Ken. I see that is quite funny, isn't it? Quite ironic, viewers. <laughs> yeah. See you again next time. <laughs>